When it comes to mantises, females are notorious for eating males before, during, or after mating. This is known as sexual cannibalism. In the praying mantis, for instance, females cannibalize males in up to 28% of natural encounters. That might sound like a lot, but it's nothing compared with the springbok mantis. In this species, more than 60% of sexual encounters end with a devoured male. Most springbok males don't even get a chance to pass on their genes because the female cannibalizes them before mating can occur. This gives her nutrition that can help during reproduction, a feat she can accomplish asexually from unfertilized eggs with a process known as parthogenesis. So how do males pass on their genes, or even survive for that matter? It turns out that springbok males sometimes initiate wrestling matches with females. In the springbok mantis, males have found a way to beat the odds and secure matings in the face of cannibalistic annihilation, according to study lead researcher Nathan Burke, a research fellow of biological sciences at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. Burke used a butterfly net to collect 104 wild springbok mantises from local parks and gardens in Auckland. Then he divided the mantises into 52 male-female pairs and observed them. Burke found that the males tended to initiate wrestling matches with females. If the female won the match, she would cannibalize the male without mating with him. However, if the male won, he was more likely to mate and survive the ordeal. Sometimes the wrestling was so vicious that the male injured the female. It's unknown whether these injuries affected the female's survival. More research is needed for that, Burke said. In all, it appears that these wrestling bouts were worth it for the male mantises. We found that males that won coercive struggles reduced the incidence of cannibalism by 78% compared to males that lost. And males that injured females during struggles were never cannibalized, according to the study's researchers Nathan Burke and Gregory Howell. The study is the first to document coercive mating in mantises. It's also the first published research to show that coercive behavior that can lead to injury directly reduces cannibalism risk.